Ladies and gentlemen, I've mentioned it a few times, teased you with it a few times, and today I'm finally going to unveil the Pokemon Picnic Basket. And here it is. Now you may be asking yourself, why a picnic basket? What's going on there? Um, so the intention is that this basket is going to be filled with packs. And every now and again, I'll do a video where I open some packs. And what's going to determine the packs that I open? So I'm going to do spin the wheel. I'm going to show it on screen. And on the spin the wheel, it's going to say whether I can open five packs, ten packs. 16 packs it's going to be determined by the spin the wheel also with some future videos when i open boxes i'm going to do spin the wheel too so if i open a collection box and there's six eight packs inside i'll spin the wheel and determine whether or not i can open the packs or if they have to go inside the pokemon picnic basket for a later opening so what's inside so far and the intention is that this is going to be full before I start doing it. So in a lot of previous videos, I've opened complete sets of things, PokeRev packs, never opened the packs. The packs I said are going to go into the basket. So, and it's heavy. Currently, this is how the Pokemon picnic basket looks. Lots of packs, but it's not full yet. So I reckon there's about space for maybe another 40 packs. Uh, I think you're looking at about 150, 160 packs there. But I need to put some more in. So today it's not just about the Pokemon picnic basket. I'm also going to be opening a full set of the Paldea collection boxes and the Mimikyu EX box. I need the promos out for my promo binder, but also the packs, unless it's Fusion Strike, which I know there's one off in the Mimikyu box, and a couple of packs that I need for my pack art collection that I haven't uh, found yet. The rest of the packs are going to go inside the picnic basket. And uh, we'll move on to that next. So I've got the full set of the Paldea collection. I've got for a Coco, got Quaxley. And my personal favourite, Sprigatito. So I'm collecting all of the pack arts, every pack art from every English release set. And just a quick reminder, that's where I'm currently at with Sword and Shield. So I still need one Sword and Shield base set, which this obviously isn't going to contain. Uh, I also need a Moltres from Chilling Rain. And I need from Lost Origin, Radiant Gardevoir. And from Silver Tempest, which these boxes do contain. I need the Alolan Vulpix and I need the Reggie Drago. So once I pull those packs out, they'll go to one side. They won't go in the picnic basket. So now we're rid of the spreadsheet. Start with the Coco box. Got a few issues going on with my camera, it keeps black screening. I'm going to try and fix it. If it carries on, it might have to just go in the video, but fingers crossed, not. Okay, so for a Coco box, we have what I'm looking for. We have the, but these aren't the Black Star promos, but they are very fancy looking. This gets me really excited for Scarlet and Violet Silver Borders when they come. We have the Sprigatito. Something about that little fella. Really does make me smile. So you already saw the code card, but there you go. And the first Black Star promo from our boxes. It's actually number two. 
and it's the for a Coco Black Star. Super happy with that. These cards just look crisp. Really good condition. And I love putting that in the binder. And then from the box, we get the oversized Coridon EX card. We also get a pretty cool little pin badge, Roy Coco. He's cool. Very nice. One to add to the collection. And we get the Alolan Volpix Silver Tempest pack. Looking pretty crisp and well centered. So that's going to go into my collection. And we also get the Reggie Lecky. Silver Tempest pack. So that one goes into the basket. As do the two packs of brilliant stars that come out of that box. Next, we'll do the Quaxley. So in the Quaxley box, which I opened already, I wasn't going to make you wait while I fiddled around trying to open the box. Because I have some difficulty sometimes. We get Sprigatito. We also get the Fry Coco. And we have the Quaxley Black Star Promo. Very nice. So that's number three. So that means that Sprigatito is number one. There's your code. And then everything flying. We get the Miraidon EX. Love the sparkles on these both size cards. Seems to pop a lot more than the the smaller smaller cards do. Although they're not really EXs. Ignore me. I'm being stupid. But, and then in this one we get another Volpix pack. And we get the Reggie Drago pack. So that one goes into my seal collection. And the two brilliant stars packs will go into the picnic basket. Last but not least, we have a Quaxley pin. Now that is a better pin to me than the Fry Coco one. I like it. It's a bit more mid action. So very happy with that one. Now, I'm going to have a look at the Sprigatito. So I've opened the Sprigatito too. Take off that. And with this box, we get the Fry Coco. We get the Waxley. And I don't know why, but for me, it's just the, the best looking New starter, Brigatito, Black Star Promo number one, and code. Also in the box, we get another Coridon. So, I mean, there's only Coridon and Miraidon. Um, so, you can, it is possible to get six boxes. So, you get three different combinations, but Obviously, we're doubling up on Coridon, but there's no way to avoid that. But great looking oversized card. We have a couple of Silver Tempest packs, both Lugia and two more Brilliant Stars. So they're going to be going into the Pokemon Picnic Basket. And take a look at that. How cool is that? Love, love the Sprigatito badge. So that's all of the Paldea collection. And next we have the Mimikyu EX box. So with the Mimikyu box, we get first off, Grivard, funky looking little dog. Uh, I've seen some people pronounce his name Graveyard. And I guess it could be a play on words, but I wouldn't read it as that. I think it's 
Grivard. So that isn't a Black Star promo, it's just a numbered one from the set. I'm guessing maybe it's like the other ones, uh, the other collection boxes where you'd sometimes get cards. They wouldn't be Black Star promo, but they would have a, a different hollow pattern than the traditional set would normally give you. Uh, usually it tends to be the Cosmos pattern. And we have Mimikyu. Ooh. Look at that. See, that pops just like the oversized cards. That looks amazing. That's an awesome card. I've seen a lot of people saying it looks washed out and the colours look a bit iffy. But for me, it's Mimikyu. He's a kind of a dark character. I think it suits his character, to be honest. Let me know in the comments if you think that's... I think you agree with that. I don't have any issue with anyone saying that they don't like the the way the card looks, but for me, I think it looks fine and it, it suits. So we have the oversized version. See if we can make that pop. Go on, there we go. Very bit of sparkle. And then inside here we have two silver tempest. The brilliant stars. And pack a fusion strike. And a coat card. So, fusion strike, I'm going to open. But just as a bit of a bonus, I'm going to throw in four more packs. So, we're going to open five packs of fusion strike. But first things first, I need to add some packs to my spreadsheet. So there's the spreadsheet again, and we've just picked up uh, Alone and Volpix, and we've just picked up Reggie Drago. So they are going to get changed and to say we have them all. We need to change that. Save it because it's always good to remember to save. And so that just leaves us three packs for Sword and Shield. We need Snorlax from Base, we need Moltres from Chilling Rain, and Gardevoir from Lost Origin. Not bad. So we can get rid of that. And we'll crack into these five packs of Fusion Strike. At some point, I'll have to show you my Fusion Strike binder. It's Mammoth, the most ridiculously big set they've created, the biggest set I think they've ever created. Um, I only found one binder that could fit the whole set and it was a 540 card binder. So these other four packs that I've added are um, the remaining packs from a booster box. So we have Fighting Energy. Morgrim, Quickball, Barrascuda, Shelda, Caterpie, Drillwer, Shinx, Bunnery, the reverse is a Bull Toy, and we have an Electros non hollow. So that's the first pack done. Gengar pack next. I do still have a full booster box of Fusion Strike that I will open in a future video. I'm thinking maybe either later this week or next week. I'd like to do it before Sword and Shield effectively ends and Scarlet and Violet launches. Growlithe, Stuffle, Cotterdale Reverse. And Corvanite non hollow. We have Bolt End Pack, 
Code. It was a good code card. Maybe we'll have some luck. Brass energy, copper raja, hook, mag cargo, basculin, grubbin, manky, progunk, panseer, the reverse is a shinx, and just a toxicity hollow. So, hollow, but nothing too special. Stuck down well. White code card. Okay. Fire energy. Excadrill. Trevenant. Adventurer's Discovery. Baltoy. Ursula. Quillfish. Vulpix. Shanty. A reverse farewell bell. I actually think I need that for my collection. And an Absol non hollow. Move that to the top. Code. Okay. Last pack for Metal Energy, Dreadnought. Lesser Sparkle, Fusion Strike Energy, Wulu, Pansage, Lefki, Sizzlypede, Mudkip, Deoxys for the reverse, and a Gorbis, non hollow. That's how we end it. Make sure he stays on top because he's going to go in the binder. So, uh, it's always fun opening boxes. It will be really fun once I can start cracking into the, the picnic basket. Um, Going to make some quite cool content from it, I think. Um, let me know if you like the idea, if you've got any ideas yourself that you, you think would work. But um, let me know in the comments. It'd be, be nice to hear from you. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, it's been a, a patchy day. My camera keeps stopping working. This video is probably going to seem cut to bit. But um, hope you enjoy it anyway. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.